It's me, Pussy, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be sipping some tea. And if it ain't green, <laughs> we got a ton of stuff to cover that's happened over the past week regarding a lot of Trinity the Tuck, who is apparently the drama. We've got her story about Raja allegedly dragging Michelle on set during a critique session of All Star 7, a response from Raja on that, some Trinity versus Alyssa Edwards drama that popped up at one of the Roscoe's viewing parties recently, some Trixie versus Kimchi Twitter beef, rumors about Trinity the Tuck's death, and we've got the top four setting the story straight about Monet's vocals from the variety show of this last week episode on All Star 7. Buckle up, because we've got a lot to cover today. But first, let me show you the easiest way to earn extra cash and gift cards this summer with today's video sponsor, YouGov. Just click the link in the description of this video to start earning right now. Get signed up in just a couple of clicks and then get paid to share your opinion on short surveys like this one, which is asking me about my interest in virtual reality. And how important I think it is to use technology during shared activities like games. You'll rack up points as you complete surveys and when you're ready, redeem those points for cash or gift cards. Just think of the possibilities. A few minutes spent sharing your opinion before bedtime or while you're just sitting on the couch watching Netflix could help you pay for that iced coffee addiction this summer. Or think big, save up for a PS5 if, you know, you can find one in stock. Just click the link in the description of this video to start earning extra cash today. Thanks YouGov for sponsoring today's video. First up, Trinity discussing Raj's alleged clapbacks to Michelle Visage. As we discussed a little bit in last week's episode of Hot or Rot, the producers have not been shy to make content cuts according According to the queens. And most of these have been in favor of making the queens look good, like for example, removing negative critiques from every critiquing session, which Trinity has testified they did indeed receive. But they've also made cuts that have upset the queens, like cutting tons of jokes from the roast. They also, according to Trinity, removed a clap back from Raja during the critiquing session of the legendary Legend Ball. This is what she originally said at one of the Roscoe's viewing parties a couple of weeks ago regarding this. Michelle was just being her normal self. And Raja dragged her. <laughs> Raja basically told her, why are you judging me? Like, I am who I am, and you don't have any credentials judging me. When we left the runway and we went back to the workroom off camera, Raja was like, she should be fired. And the topic came up again this week in the form of a TikTok where a crowd member was at one of Trinity's shows and asked about that clapback. Which episode did Raja say to Michelle Visage that she doesn't? The third episode. Oh Everybody thinks that the judges didn't give us negative critique on All Star 7. They did. They did give us negative critique. They just chose to edit that out, which is fine. I'm, I'm, it made everybody look great, which is great. But Michelle came for Raja during episode three and Raja looked dead at Michelle and said, who are you to judge me? You have no credentials other than being the host best friend. And then when we got off stage, backstage in the workroom, after the cameras were cut, she told all the producers, she said she should be fired. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I agree or not. I'm just saying, that's just what she said. <laughs> and Raja reshared a screenshot of this TikTok to her Instagram writing, Trinity the Tuck is an embellishment queen with some laughing face emojis. And this story, by the way, actually had been published by Reality Titbit about a month or so ago when All Star 7 was originally doing promo for the season. In that interview, Willem and Alaska discussed some behind the scenes stuff that they've heard about it. And Willem said, there's this one showdown with Raja and I don't know if it's going to make it to the air, but she gives it to someone who has had needed it, given it to for a long time, and this B word gets it. She elaborated, she screams at her. She is backstage yelling, fire her, and she's not on my level because she tried to read her. Certain people judge us and they have no qualifications to judge us apart from them being friends with the host or going to Vogue balls in the 80s and saying Madonna stole her act. <laughs> And in a BuzzFeed celeb press video for the season, the queens were asked who was most likely to talk back to the judges and every single one of them pointed at Raja. But as the story has made its rounds, it's pretty much stayed the same. Next up, Trinity the Tuck versus Alyssa Edwards in an alleged fight that happened back in 2019 on a drag queen's Christmas tour. Monet Exchange and Alyssa Edwards joined the Roscoe's viewing party this past week. And Monet starts telling the story of what happened, but Alyssa quickly cuts her off and says this. I came on the tour halfway I just called the bullshit out. I punched the lady in the mouth. And if you listen to Sibling Rivalry, you'll know this actually came up on their podcast like a month or two ago. But there were no real details provided at that point. And then cut to like a, three, a few months ago on the podcast, Bob was like, yeah, because you know when Trinity and Alyssa got I into saw that messy yeah, ass like, Trinity and Alyssa got into a fight. And I was just like, Ixnay on the fight. Yeah, girl. I don't know why that 
Alyssa then elaborates a little more on the story and shares this information. Here's the thing, we were backstage, there were a few girls back there, Latrice, my good sister, I think the girls were like, indulging in, you know, adult beverages, house of love. One thing led to another and I was like, girl, okay, okay, it's fine, it was fine, get off me, get off me, okay, girl, it's fine, okay, I'm gonna tell you one more time, girl, get off me, and then, you know, hands start, no, triggers, no, no, and then it just turned into like a little bit, it wasn't a brawl, it was like a one, two step, Ciara. <laughs> And then it was like, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. And after several more minutes of discussing the situation, gives more context and describes that they made up and had some Starbucks in the morning after. And then afterwards, I think the beauty behind it all was when me and her talked face to face, she was like, I was out of line. And I was like, no, I was out of line. And I think that we were able to be adults. I don't think it's abnormal for two people that do care for each other, like each other, appreciate and celebrate one another to go, you know what, look, this was not it tonight. And the next day we had Starbucks, so that was it. And obviously Alyssa is sort of dancing around the finer details of what truly happened that evening, which I can definitely respect. But if you read between the lines and really listen, I think we can get a pretty clear idea of what might have happened. See me with them hands. Regardless though, it's great to know that they did ultimately have a happy ending, but Trinity tweeted this out on July 24th, addressing Alyssa's side of the story. Maybe I'll tell the full T on the fist emoji one day, cause it wasn't exactly as described like in that video with a little smile emoji. And to this this tweet, Monet jokingly responded, Trin, let's jump her. And Trinity responded to that writing, haha, he's a strong girl, B might need Robert to help. And a Twitter user responded to Trinity's tweet writing, I don't know how you didn't turn and lay her out, TBH, because if someone hits me, they're getting laid out, period. Especially someone who thinks they have the right to lay hands on whoever they want. This story really rubs me the wrong way, TBH. To which Trinity responded, well, we are talking about Alyssa here. Rules don't apply to her. To be determined. And next up, we've got Trixie Mattel versus Kim Chi, which was obviously very fake drama, but some of y'all were asking me in my Instagram DMs to cover and investigate this. What happened was on July 23rd, Kim Chi tweeted out, people do not change after all. I am not surprised, just disappointed. I will reveal the truth to everyone soon. Karma is a B and so are you, at Trixie Mattel. Shortly after, Trixie Mattel followed up with, you will love to play the victim while riding high on a moral horse, but everyone can see through you. You're not as sleek as you'd think. I have the receipts and you're the one that's going down from this, at Kim G. And that was pretty much the end of this exchange. Everyone knows that these two have been friends for years, they collaborate often on YouTube, and if I had to guess, this was probably some prelude to a collaboration between their companies. But that's just a theory. A drag race theory. Next up, Trinity the Tuck. Dead. Not really though. On July 24th, a Twitter user tweeted out a faked TMZ article that wrote, Trinity the Tuck, RuPaul's Drag Race Superstar dead at 37, adding, rest in peace, Trinity the Tuck. It really is a shame what boating accidents can do. You will be missed. To which Trinity quickly responded, you really think I would die in a boating accident? Butch, I'm half plastic. I would never drown. <laughs> Trinity then followed up the next day writing, I live. No, seriously, I'm alive. Just some desperate attention seekers starting yet another rumor. Yet another rig, yet another dig, yet another rumor. Wow, two fake dramas this week, I could not believe it. And finally today we've got some Final Four All-Star 7 drama. There were apparently rumors going around that Monet didn't sing her opera vocals live and a person on Twitter about Monet's vocals wrote, it was lip synced though. I don't doubt she recorded it herself, but it might've been altered to remove imperfections. To which Monet quote tweeted, and responded saying, pre-recorded vocals? Where? Live singing. Trinity then backed up her Twitter on Twitter and wrote a few things. Monet sang live and it was incredible. Y'all stop hating. If you're hashtag team Trinity, then you best be hashtag team Monet. Twitter for the winner. And finally, we saw Bob jump in to defend her sister writing to the people online who are hating on Monet. I just don't understand why y'all gotta say racist stuff. Just be a piece of garbage in private. Why you gotta let the whole world know that you're morally bankrupt? And followed that up with, if you don't understand opera, just say that. If you don't have the sophistication, understand standing in attention span to appreciate something other than kicks and splits, just admit it. And personally, I don't know how anyone could have heard that and thought that was anything but live vocals. Monet absolutely slayed that performance. But these tweets, I think, are a great representation of what I think is one of the best things to come out of this season, and that is the sisterly love that these queens have for each other, being on public display all the time, and them constantly jumping in to, like, defend each other from rumors, gossip, and haters. But that's all I've got for you today, and I hope you enjoyed our little quick tea session. 
Since we're getting closer every second to the finale of All Stars 7, let me know down in the comments below who you're rooting for to take the crown. Are you hashtag Team Monet, Shay, Jinx, or Trinity? Or hashtag Team Twinners again? Or maybe a four-way tie this time? Why not? As always, I want to thank you for watching today's video. I also want to give a special shout out to today's video sponsor, YouGov, who you can check out and earn some extra cash with using the link in the description of this video. I also want to give an extra, extra special shout out to my generous patrons that make my channel possible and aid in the individual. Alessandro420, Alicia, Angel, Cyrus, Dickie, Felicia, Frankie, Hector, Jeffrey, Joseph, Josh, Laura, Lissette, Louis Labrador, Ruff, Mark James, Matthew Burns, Matthew Bauer, Miss F, Neely, Sailor, Steven, and Topher, and Will and Ton, who are all supporting me at my Bussy Queen Collector tier. See you next time. Love ya. Bye.